So it's five in the morning, and uh, I'm about to climb Masada, right behind me. I'm gonna go up what's called the Snake Path, and we're gonna hope to get up there close to sunrise. And the best time to do this hike is before sunrise, when it's still dark out. So you get to the top and you see this beautiful sunrise. It's a little bit of a hazy day, so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. But if you wanna do what the locals do, start in the dark. Snake path is not the only way to get up here. You can actually take this nice cable car, which goes all the way down the mountain. We'll take that down and I'll show you what it looks like from the inside. All right, we did it. It's the home stretch. I like to say it's not straight up, but it's pretty straight up. Here it is, the top of Masada. Pretty amazing be in a place where everybody was killed because they were a Jew to now a place full of Israeli soldiers defending this land against all of our enemies. Unbelievable. The next thing I'm going to show you are cave dwellings that are actually built into the side of Masada, into the mountain. It's actually incredible. Now, it used to be accessible to tourists. However, there were avalanches that made it no longer accessible and it was too dangerous to let tourists go in and check out these caves. Now with the drone, we're able to actually see how these were built and see how impressive the structures were. Also, there were remains of bodies found and bones uh, in the 1960s during the excavations, and they ended up building a memorial for them and reburying the bones in one of the caves. Later, they made a more official memorial at the bottom of the ramp, uh, but it is unclear whether or not they moved the bones to that memorial or they left the bones in the cave where they buried them in the 1960s. It's really quite incredible. Come see for yourself.
when I go to these places, I like to call my parents. So today, it's my mom. Say hi. Hi. And with the miracle of technology, they're right here with me, even though they're 3,000 or 6,000 miles away. We're finally able to breach the fortress by building a sand ramp, which you can still see the remnants of over there, which led all the way up to a wall where they were able to breach it. All around the top of Masada are all the buildings, and they tried to restore as much as they can. And you'll see as you walk around, there are these black lines here, you can see. These black lines show where the originals were and where they added. So anything above, they added to restore it. And anything below was original the way they found it. And I'll take you into some of these structures. In this room they found some parchments and coins and you can see all of these lookouts to see the enemy coming from anywhere. Here you can see the synagogue. For here you can see the water system. Which is pretty amazing if you think about it. How do you get water to the top of this giant mountain? Because water is life. And they also needed water for ritual baths. So here you can see the model. And what they did was he made lots of cisterns on the summit and rainwater would flow into the cisterns in the floods and the nearby streams was stored there. And the water was collected by a system of dams and octoducts, parts of which can be seen till this day. Two rows of cisterns were dug on a slope, eight in the upper row and four in the lower. That contained a total of 40,000 cubic meters of water. Here, this should be a ritual bath. Here, you have one of the big cisterns for the water. Amazing. Here you can see some of the dwelling places.
here we have the observation point from the bathhouse. Here's the roof of the bathhouse. Here you can see an example of the beautiful mosaics, tiles and floors that they had in their houses and palaces. Here is the view to the Dead Sea on a clear day. Can't even explain how beautiful it is. When you're here for sunrise, I'm watching the sunrise right up over the mountain right by this flag, you'll never forget it. All right, so we've climbed up the snake path, we've explored Masada, and now it's time to get back all the way down to the ground level. I told you earlier on the way up that you don't have to take the snake path, you don't have to sweat your head off, you don't have to break your back to go and explore this amazing treasure. You can actually take the cable car it goes up, it also goes down, and we're gonna go and explore this awesome ride right now. Let's go. When you're done and you come down the tram, you can see all of these artifacts and pictures from the excavations and the restoration of Masada. Here we have some bronze coins. Here we have slingshot and ballista balls. Imagine one of these things flying at your head. I wouldn't want that happening. Wow. Well. 